Hi, in this video I will show you how to crash the ASP.NET Core server, uh, which is called Castrel server. Um, so actually I start here with my application. Uh, that's my default ASP.NET Core 2 application and I take there for this uh, show, for to show how this works I take my output files I copy my output my current output files to the productivity server I stop there the application go there to my system now I kill the current stuff so we are sure that the system is uh, starting again. Now I take this one, copy my files on there. So we come from the uh, from the developing server uh, system to the productivity server. I start the server there. Now I'm back on my machine and. What I want to show you now is this is my application the system is compiling all that stuff and now it works for a while and as soon as you jump front and back for several times then the system hangs you see this one now now even when I go to another session like this one other browser or when I take my handy my smartphone handy in German it's handy it's smartphone in English um, now you see the system is not coming back it's crashed 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 and it's not going back there so when I go back to my server uh, this the system itself um, Causes. Uh, now I'm restarting it. I go there. Edit. Now we say, okay, my dear system, we want uh, the outlog, the logging. And this is a very bad uh, stuff. For example, when you work for a bank, if you write an web API uh, for banking or something like this then this one would be very very uh, let's say uh, no go now I'm starting my application again to come then it's not coming back so I have to stop it again uh, starting it again maybe I have also to reset the application pool and that's the terrible stuff uh, the internal sequence uh, crashes the entire uh, system so what, uh, what we had in the last error was simple stuff when we when I asked my data for connectivity of my data set so sign in sign out something else like this now here we are uh, it's simple a simple database command crashes that system so this is when this system asks for some data with the entity framework and when the system is not coming back so the system hangs completely that's what you see there it's not coming back on all machines websites smartphones whatever now we are back you see now we we are crashing it again we go there yeah now no worked just go front back, front back some several times and then it crashes. <coughs> the point is that it's uh, not that uh, easy to reproduce. So 
uh, when you go to the Microsoft forum, forum, they will say, uh, yeah, it's you have to repro reproduce it, so, but your uh, but it's very often uh, difficult to reproduce this situation. I see. Uh, no, not. So, but what I wanted to show is that the system is completely hanging and th that all clients are uh, in a big trouble then. And system will stay there for hours. It will stay there for hours and uh, or for days. And then the owner of the website will call you and say, okay, you have to come uh, immediately and restart the system. So this is a big problem.